Veronika Lajanova, director general of the Russian anti-doping agency, Rusada, told how the investigation into the case of figure skater Kamila Valeva is going. During the 2022 Olympics in Beijing, it became known that in December Valeva passed a positive doping test for trimetazidine. At the Games, the figure skater became the Olympic champion in the team tournament, but the award never took place due to a doping investigation. How is the Rusada investigation announced in February regarding Camila Voliva's entourage progressing? With strict compliance with the relevant regulations. Perhaps the most important of them is confidentiality. We have no right to comment on interim results, especially when it comes to a protected person. I will only say that the investigation is being conducted carefully, we are trying to complete it as quickly as possible, but the need to take into account all the nuances takes time. Rusada has repeatedly asked the media and other public resources not to disseminate unverified information so as not to harm the investigation and the athlete. Everything verified is published on our website. A message will also appear there as soon as the investigation is completed. Is there a deadline in this matter? August is being discussed in the press, we are striving to meet these deadlines. During the investigation, a large number of people are interviewed, new circumstances requiring verification are being clarified, because of this, we can finish later. There is no official deadline. The main thing for us is to establish the truth. Does the investigation include only interviews or some other actions? I have no right to disclose our methods. If you want to know what tools can be used, they are described in the International Standard for Testing and Investigation. These are surveys, interviews, searching for information in available sources, using information available to anti-doping organizations, for example, biological passport data. It is recommended to use everything that can lead to the establishment of the truth. But specific details are not subject to premature disclosure. It is known that the study of the Voliva sample was delayed by the Swedish laboratory. Because of this, the scandal happened during the Olympics and not before it. Will the Swedes be punished? And would the urgent mark on the sample sent by the Russian site have saved the situation? The sample was taken back in December, there was no need to assign it the category of urgency. Taking into account the 20 days recommended for the study, we were able to fit in time to Beijing. We managed to do it even taking into account the holidays, because Rusada did its part of the work flawlessly. After the investigation is completed, I believe we will have a number of recommendations and appeals on this issue. The Swedes were prevented by the coronavirus, they did not have enough workers. But this should not harm the athlete and create an increased international resonance," Lajanova said.